Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I'm continuing my topic about supplements and we wouldn't talk about supplements without talking about protein. Uh, again, it's most asked question what protein I take, how much protein to take and, um, and so on. So I would like to start from the beginning. Um, I would like people that take protein or thinking about taking protein think why would you do something like that yes protein is required to build muscle it will be broken down in the body uh, in, um, in some amino acids and will be helping or assisting in building muscles however by taking protein no muscles is built what i'm trying to say is muscle only need to be built when it's torn and need to recover and the first process of breaking that muscle is a strenuous exercise and i'm trying to say people not exercising but the amount of people that non-professional lemon exercise in the gym I cannot see how they actually break in their muscles. It's really hard to break muscle if you're not suffering. It's not about lifting something as heavy and assisting yourself in doing so. Muscle broken down when you achieve point of fatigue, when you're not lifting something heavy, it's when you cannot lift anymore and you and you're pushing through it. That's where muscle breakdown is happening. That's the first step. The second step is uh, muscle recovery. The muscle recovery is not happening when you consume consuming protein. Muscle recovery happens when you sleep. So if you really would like to build muscles, the first process is to exercise and exercise the biggest muscles in the body, not just biceps, not just triceps. And go for legs, go for back, go for all big muscles to instigate human growth hormone and other anabolic hormones inside you. And second step would be to recover. And the best way to recover is to have sufficient sleep. Sufficient sleep is most important bit in, uh, in many things. I don't want to go into sleep science right now. But if you ever wanted to build muscles naturally, and I emphasize naturally, you do need to take care of your sleeps. And the third one is, I would like to discuss point of protein. If you believe that what you do in your life, and I assume that you're not a professional athlete, you just, like me, going to gym and trying to keep um, healthy and fit, you're not pushing yourself to the point of protein supplementation if you have your diet in check. I don't like raw diet. When I say diet, I mean your food intake. And when you're eating your food, think of food like a fuel. So when you consume food, your body anticipates two things. First is energy, and that's quite easy. What we call it calories. And second is vitamins and minerals so if you consume in food that is not containing second part doesn't matter what else you consume your body would not recover sufficiently and would not build muscle so before you start supplementing with protein i would say revisit what you consume and you'll be quite surprised that you might actually consume enough protein in your diet and if you are not, I would um, tweak your food intake to get proteins from your diet. Why? Because most likely you will consume proteins from a different uh, food sources. Some would be animal, some would be plant. Plant proteins are not well absorbed. Animal proteins are better. But the point being is with those proteins you consume on top of other amino acids and other vitamins that are crucial on top of what you consume from protein side and also 
try to consume food that you will need to digest. If you're supplementing protein, I would call it pre-digested substance. Yes, it is protein, but it comes in powder, and powder, to get it into powder state, it went through the process, process of modification, right? So, I don't want to go on any other tension, so, um, point being, I do believe, if you're like me, a recreational um, gym user, you don't need supplemental protein, you just need to make sure that your food is in check, that your sleep is in check, and your exercise um, to fatigue and not to lift heavy, because lifting heavy leads to injuries, when fatigue leads to muscle breakdown and muscle recovery. However, let's say you insist that you need protein, and you would ask me what protein I should consume. First of all, I would like to discuss proteins that you should not consume, and it's uh, uh, protein concentrates. I know it sounds like good, like taking something and you concentrate and it should be uh, great for you. First of all, look at the label of product that you buy. If there's uh, more than a couple of ingredients, and also a couple of uh, legitimate ingredients, the protein is not good. Most of the protein concentrates will have 10, 20, 30 and more ingredients that not listed because legally uh, companies don't have to list all the ingredients that are uh, in, uh, uh, measured in uh, micrograms. None of the protein concentrates are good for you because they're full of rubbish, they're full of soy, they're full of uh, additives, they're full of things that will not help you to achieve your fitness goals. You most likely will pile on weight or pile on you know, other things that are really hard to flush from your body. Now, the protein to consume if you'd like to supplement, it will be protein isolate. There's a number of protein isolates in the market. If you're vegetarian, uh, the best choice of protein would be pea protein. And again, I'm not consuming protein, but I'm, I'm, I know a couple of uh, protein brands that are doing the right thing. I'll put uh, links down in the description. Uh, and if you're not vegetarian, I would suggest to consume blend of pea protein and whey protein. Uh, the reason why I would like uh, to consider bland because the whey protein, whey protein um, derived from milk and milk um, or dairy products, right? Uh, dairy products would create inflammation in your body. The whole idea of exercise to get inflammation during the exercise and then recover after. If you create inflammation in your body during the exercise and then consuming protein to create further inflammation, you put your body under stress and not allow your body to recover. So if your body does not recover, you cannot grow muscles. Again, muscle growth requires stress and recovery. So let's make sure that we look after uh, our bodies. So pea protein is not as inflammatory, but it's not... Um, as bioavailable as a whey protein. So if you would like to mix it yourself, that would be a great idea. However, I come back to my previous point. If your diet or food intake is in check, as a recreational gym user, non-professional athlete, I can almost guarantee you, you don't need additional protein in your diet. What you might need though, is electrolytes. Also, at the end of the video, I link uh, to my previous electrolyte video because if you got uh, cramps, if you got muscle fatigue, you most likely missing electrolytes or maybe some vitamins and has nothing to do with protein. If you have any questions about this video or any other videos, please comment down below. If you like this video or any other videos on my channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos. If you have any questions or ideas what I should make other videos about, uh, put down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.